Welcome to Battle Network Academy. In this video, I'll be covering meteors from Battle Network 2 and Battle Network 4, and asteroids from Battle Network 5. Meteors 9, 12, 15, and 18 appear in Battle Network 2. Using this chip will put a staff object in front of Mega Man, and after 60 frames, or one second, it will start shooting meteors onto your opponent's area. If the staff is destroyed at any point, the meteors will stop spawning. Unlike Random Meteor and Battle Network 3, these chip's meteors are truly random. This attack deals 60, 80, 100, or 150 fire damage per hit. Meteors in Battle Network 4 will target your opponent's front column in the row that you're in. If your opponent is in the same row as you, it will target the panel that they are standing on. All three of these chips will shoot five meteors that deal 50, 60, or 70 fire damage depending on which version you're using. This attack comes with a short chip lockout that will last for 120 frames or 2 seconds. During this time you cannot use any chips, including time freeze chips during TFCs. And in Battle Network 5, this series of chips is referred to as asteroids. Using this attack will call down 6, 8, or 10 meteors down on your opponent, dealing 60, 70, or 80 fire damage depending on which version you're using. The meteors will target the panel that your opponent is currently standing on, and they will also fall on panels adjacent to your opponent. The meteors will also crack panels that they hit. This also comes with a short chip lockout like in Battle Network 4 that lasts for 120 frames or 2 seconds. Now, I really should have put the Battle Network 2 and Battle Network 3 Meteor chips together, but I forgot that Battle Network 2 had Meteor chips when I made the B and 3 video. So I'll just sneak it into this one. I think it's kind of neat to see all the changes that they've made throughout the series to this one attack. Too bad it never appeared in Battle Network 6, but... Well, not entirely the best. It's, it's definitely not perfect. But I do think that the B and 5 version is my favorite. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.